this message finds you doing well for the month of October we're doing something special we're, we're going to be covering North Carolina urban legends each episode we will discuss a unique cryptoid an unexplained experience or an urban legend so sit back relax and enjoy the show in today's episode we're going to make our way to Asheville North Carolina for the story of Helen's Bridge the story of Helen's Bridge takes place on Bowcatcher Mountain overlooking downtown. Sometime in the early 1900s, this story takes place, and the story goes, Helen was a young woman who worked at Zealandia Mansion. On a tragic night, she was working in the kitchen when a fire suddenly sparked in the large mansion. Helen knew her daughter was down in the library reading. So she rushed through the castle, castle, trying to find her beloved child. But the fire had already engulfed all those paper books. Struck with grief, Helen rushed to the tall stagecoach bridge and leaped to her death. A lot of people say, if you go to Helen's Bridge and you park underneath it, there will be times when you'll see a woman in white walking asking if anyone has seen her child. Some other urban legend stories go that if you park underneath the bridge and you turn off your car and you turn it back on or try to turn it back on, it won't turn on. Some also say you could see her hanging from the bridge. Um, I will give a little bit of backstory. Me personally, I've been there about three times in the 20 years that I've lived here. Um, 20 years on and off that I lived here. Most recently we went, I went with a couple old co-workers of mine around Halloween in 2019. And let's just tell you this much. I don't believe this story. I honestly don't believe that there's a ghost named Helen and that you can see her and that she touches your car and leaves handprints on it or the car doesn't start. Um, all bullshit, in my opinion, in my opinion. Back when I originally moved here and like early 2004 or 2005 2006 the first time i was living down here a few of the first friends i met they took me out there too i didn't see shit i come from a a house where we grew up in a house that was haunted so i can tell when there's spirits around and i kind of am open to it when i was younger we also used to go ghost hunting some of my followers that are in connecticut if you hung out with me when we were in high school you would know all this um and if you are watching this video and you did know me in Connecticut and you used to come to my house, put a comment in the in the in the disc, uh, put a comment down about some of the experiences that you had at our house or some of the experiences that you had when we would um, go ghost hunting. But this is one of the many urban legends of Asheville that I want to share with you. Um, the house is still there. You could see it from Bowcatcher when the leaves are um, down, but. Um, it's private property. There's no way to go to that. It's a business now. I think it's a financial firm or a real estate company. But um, yeah, you can make it up there if you dare to go see if you can find Helen. Um, I may take us up there tonight. That's what we might do. And um, we'll add that into this. But I'm telling you now, my experience is I've never saw shit. I've never experienced shit. I think it's a fucking fake story, but yeah, hope I swore, but I think it's a fake story. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Remember, we're not each other's enemies. Be safe this Halloween. Thank you.